Okay, so right here you see two power banks. Spot the difference? Uh, this one is white and this one is black with white sticker on it. But this one's also got micro USB and this one's got USB C alongside micro USB. This one I've bought at a local convenience store for not that much money. I don't know exactly how much it is. This one I bought on my for just about a little over 25 euro maybe. And capacity, this one is a double of this one. Okay, so this power bank here I've had for a long, long time. Because it's so light and small, capacity 10,000 mAh. I've had a couple of power banks before this one, but they all work crap for some reason. But this one actually worked pretty well uh, for a time. Because A, the new A12 probably has a larger battery. B, it's got a quick charge. And this power bank does not. Now, Quick charge is a very convenient feature because it allows my smartphone to charge from 20% to 8% within just a little over an hour. This power bank cannot do that. Whichever smartphone you are connected to, it always charges up the whole time. Hours with no end in sight. If someone, however, does have quick charge, which means it charges that smartphone in around the same time as the fast charging power brick Samsung was very grateful to include. So now of course this power bank here which by the way is the Mojo Gear uh, XLMG09P162 Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0 and USB-C does have an odd quirk when it comes to charging the power bank itself. The USB C right here supports power delivery, which is used for laptops and Apple devices. We see our two USB ports support Qualcomm Quick Charge for charging other devices that have quick charge and also devices that don't have quick charge. Uh, should be charged through the USB A. Now here's a micro USB port. I guess it supports quick charge. Uh, his power brick supports quick charge, that Samsung calls it differently. Um, but here's the odd quirk when it comes to charging it up. Uh, because the A12 has a USB C port, this one. And this power cable does as well. But when I want to plug it into USB C, I can guess this one doesn't charge it up because that one uses power delivery. So I have to use a good old micro USB cable. I've got one right here on a standard. 2 amp charging brick that doesn't go nearly as fast as this quick charging one does. Uh, so that means I have to swap out the cable so I have to charge up a power bank. Now I've bought this power bank with the intention of using it during this year's and upcoming bicycle vacations, of course, because uh, it allows me to charge up my smartphone quicker and more often as well but it's also a thing that made my uh, groups participation in the FCC challenge possible it isn't just a financial thing between me all my gear and the FTC it's that this literally made it possible because we've had control units and I as far as I know 
these control units that I use to control the robots have run out of battery power quite a lot of times at the wrong moment. Now, this time I was an exception thanks to this power bank. Because even though that one didn't have quick charge, at least as far as I know, this power bank did allow me to keep it up for a long amount of time, at least long enough to uh, be able to participate in a match with our team. Unfortunately, A, I don't have any footage of that anymore. Not at all, in fact, I didn't make any footage. And B, we didn't go to the national championship. But this power bank at least made it possible to participate in this, uh, in this scrimmages two weeks ago. So, if I only have this one, this one not only is half a capacity, but it's also an old power bank. It's probably going to have less than 10,000 milliamp hours. So that's actually the reason this one has to be Raponi Forever stick on it. It's another team of my school. And... <coughs> we've had another team, Raponi Ultimate. Um, and I've seen a lot of these tickets around, but that's why that's on here. This power bank has allowed me to charge the driver controller which I said when I meant control hub which was a different thing uh, so that's it for now sorry that this might be a little bit wobbly because I'm recording with my cell microphone but here's my tripod fully set up and a little uh, fair warning never try to over tighten this screw on a cheap tripod ever because i've done it time and time again and it led to the tripod almost breaking down so you can see here i've got this handle it isn't just a handle i've learned the hard way it's actually a screw that ties to the position and when you over tighten this particular screw uh there's a very high risk of the mounting point here breaking physically it literally breaks and leads to the tripod just don't right being capable of uh, flying into two pieces for the camera mount and the actual tripod itself. Uh, I have solved this by using this particular screw here and a bit of glue, but this crew to have a first place but I've tightened it myself a little bit more to solve a problem partially but it's just this thing to keep in mind if you've got this particular type of tripod but I don't think they're not sold anymore anyway see you next time bye I hope you've enjoyed this video if you do please give a thumbs up and share this video with all your friends and perhaps consider subscribing to my channel Thank you, and I'll see you next time.